February 2018, early this year, I was told that the stage would not be able to uh, support the productions that we had planned for the season. And I guess like every organization, these things come up in the middle of planning or in the middle of execution. But for a not-for-profit, you know, budgets are very tight. We're heading towards a zero-sum game at the end of the season, and so a, an extra $20,000 expense can be catastrophic. We really didn't know what to do. I mean, the truth is, we need a stage to make plays, but where are we gonna find the money to do it? I was invited to go see Gore Brown at his office, and for three hours, he took three hours out of his day to talk about hockey, of course, um, Gananoque, his love of Gananoque and the community, and he, we talked about the Playhouse and the Canoe Club and the impact that it had on him. So one of the suggestions he made to me was to approach Tom Russell and Thousand Islands Community Development Corporation to try and see whether we could unlock some funding in order to save the stage. As you know, Gord has been a huge supporter of the Thousand Islands Community Development Corporation. He made many of the investments in the Thousand Islands region possible by virtue of the work he did to bring Eastern Ontario development programming to this region. It's from that pot of money that we've been able to invest in the Thousand Islands Playhouse and so many other, other wonderful initiatives throughout the area. Today the official opposition of Conservative Caucus and indeed the whole House is in mourning. I am truly saddened to inform, to inform the House of the sudden passing, passing of our dear friend and colleague, the member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, Middle Lakes, Gord Brown. Brown served as an MP since 2004 and has been described by his political colleagues, including Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, as a tenacious competitor in hockey, a tireless worker that emphasized service above partisanship, but above all else, they described him as a good man. I was as shocked as anyone. Um, you know, this guy who had done so much in this community, Mr. Gananoque, for lack of a better term, and who had espoused this region for so long, uh, was gone. So, you know, in the middle of this project, the one that we were working on, uh, that he had made come to fruition, I figured that, you know, to, to honor the legacy of all the projects that he had supported and all of the work that he had done in Gananoque, that we had to figure out some way to celebrate him through this project. Brett reached out to me and asked me if I would place a loony here today uh, in memory of Gord. Our parents uh, collected uh, silver dollars for us back in the, in the 60s and uh, I couldn't think of a more fitting place to uh, place this one here today in his memory. Over the last few weeks, I've been very touched uh, as I hear stories about Gord and how he uh, came to the rescue of individuals and organizations when they had situations that uh, they didn't know where to turn to. And when they reached out to Gord, uh, miraculously, he came with a solution for them in a short period of time. 